This is a topic video for solving a system of linear equations using elimination with multiplication and addition. A system of equations is typically two or more equations containing the same variables. This topic focuses on systems of equations that consist of two linear equations that use two variables, much like the example shown. In this case, we will use the elimination method. Remember, the solution must apply to both equations. We can check this by substituting the values of x and y back into each equation. Let's do an example. The first step to solving a system of equations using the elimination method is to manipulate the equations with the goal to make the coefficients of one of the variables the same, but with differing signs, in order to be able to cancel them out when the two equations are added together. In this example, I will do this for x. To get both x terms to have the same coefficient but with differing signs, we can multiply both sides of the first equation by 3, and multiply both sides of the second equation by 4. If we distribute the 3 over negative 4x and 8y, we get negative 12x plus 24y. On the right side of the equation, we multiply negative 12 by 3, which equals negative 36. The first equation is now negative 12x plus 24y equals negative 36. Can you simplify the second equation? Distributing the 4 over the 3x and the negative 5y, I get 12x minus 20y. As for the right-hand side of the equation, 4 times 11 is 44. Great job! Now the x term in the system of equations has the same coefficient, but with differing signs. We will now add both equations together, and you will see that the x terms will cancel, allowing us to solve for y. Negative 12x plus 12x is equal to 0. 24y minus 20y is equal to 4y, and negative 36 plus 44 is equal to 8. We can divide both sides of the equation by 4 and write y equals 2. Now that we have solved for y, what do we do next? We still need to solve for x, so we can substitute y equals 2 into one of the equations to find x. That's correct. Let's substitute y equals 2 into the second equation we get 3x minus 5 times 2 equals 11. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, so we have 3x minus 10 equals 11. Adding 10 to both sides of the equation, we write 3x equals 21. Last, we divide both sides of the equation by 3 and write x equals 7. So, the final answer is x equals 7 and y equals 2. We can also write this as the ordered pair 7, 2. If I wanted to check this answer, I would need to substitute x equals 7 and y equals 2 back into both equations, right? Yes, it is always a good idea to check your work. Substituting the values for x and for y back into both equations will give you information about whether your answer is correct or not.